Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some homemaking. We are mostly gonna be focusing on our kitchen. Of course, I want to clean everything up because when is the kitchen not a mess? I also want to focus on our fridge. I really wanna clean that out. It's not gonna be like a crazy, crazy deep clean, but I wanna pull everything out and just wipe everything down, kind of reorganize it because I actually have not done that since everything happened and so it's been a while and you'll see in a minute, but the fridge is just a complete wreck right now. So I wanna go ahead and tackle that. And then because our boys are out of school for the summer, I really am wanting to kind of make summer go a little bit smoother. And so I'm actually wanting to prep some things that we can pull out for easy lunches and just prep out some things that will make summer go a little bit smoother. So we do have a lot to get done. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. So as I'm starting to tidy up the kitchen, kind of put things away that are just scattered across the counters, like I feel like it always is, I wanted to check in with you guys. If you remember about a week and a half ago, I shared an after dark video and in that video, I challenged you guys to really shift your focus from anything negative and instead focus on the positive things, focus on blessings, just focus on being overall more grateful for the things in your life. And if you missed out on that challenge, I will link that video up above right here for you guys. So you can go ahead and listen to kind of like my whole little mindset spiel. I feel like I had a lot of mindset chats in that video. So definitely a good one to pop on and listen if you're kind of needing a little shift in your mindset this week but anyway definitely let me know kind of how that went this last week if you ended up taking me up on that challenge so we have everything all tidied up i do need to empty out the dishwasher and then wipe down the counters clean these dishes and then we'll be ready to tackle our terribly disgusting fridge we can pretend When the lights out So you guys know I typically always will choose to stick all of our dishes into the dishwasher. Of course, like not including our pots and pans and knives and things like that. But for the most part, we typically will wash all of our dishes with the dishwasher. But because I was planning on doing a lot of prep, I feel like that always tends to create a lot of dishes. And so I figured since there weren't a ton, I would just go ahead and hand wash these ones. I'm just using the Dawn dish spray, which you guys know I love this stuff. And I'm also washing the dishes with a scrub daddy, or technically it's a scrub mommy, but it's like within the scrub daddy brand. And I have just been loving the scrub daddies that I've been using lately. They work really, really well. The scrub mommies 
awesome because it does have like a sponge on one side and then it has this more abrasive side that actually kind of softens or hardens up depending on what temperature water you're using. But it's been really cool to see a brand like Scrub Daddy because I remember seeing them on Shark Tank years and years ago and now they are just like such a huge brand. Like they are so well known all around. They are in all different stores and it's just really cool to see how they've grown their business from being on Shark Tank. Let me know if you guys ever watch Shark Tank. We love that show. I feel like sometimes the things that are brought on that show are a little bit crazy, but there are a lot of things that are such great ideas. So we have ordered a few of the things that we've seen on Shark Tank. If you've ordered anything that you've seen on Shark Tank or you found it in the stores after watching it, let me know in the comments if there's anything like really, really good. I feel like that's always fun just to see these companies like kind of grow and see what different products are out there. So of course I'm using my e-cloths to wipe down the counters. This is like my go-to just for daily cleaning, but that does remind me I do still have a giveaway going on just until tomorrow. And that's like a huge giveaway. So that giveaway is actually going on over on my recent marathon video. I will have that linked up here for you guys in case if you haven't gotten entered, but you do still have until tomorrow. So make sure you go over there, get a comment on that video and follow all the instructions on how to enter. I'm going to be picking a winner tomorrow and I will be replying back to the lucky winner's comments. So good luck. I once felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and climb over your fence, hide to show, show you that I was a man. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told you. Soon enough, everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Not living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Okay, I'm sure I'm not the only one with a messy fridge, but just like always, no judgment. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we have going on in here. Then I'm gonna pull everything out and go through everything, make sure we don't have anything expired, nothing that we're not gonna use because we did have a lot of company. Also, like we do have a lot of food in here that we normally don't buy, that maybe company has bought while they're here, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and go through that and get it all cleaned out. And then also, I don't really have exactly a plan for what I'm going to be prepping today. A lot of it's going to depend on what we do have in our fridge right now. And then once I go through everything, I'll be able to see what I can kind of pull from and prep from there. And then anything that I need to go grab at the store, I'll make a quick trip just to our local grocery store right here, grab whatever we need, and then we'll come back and start prepping. So let's get to it. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong. So if you've seen my other fridge clean out videos, I have a lot of them. I've shared this a lot of times. What I usually do will pull out every single thing. That's more when I'm doing like a fridge clean out and organization. This is really just like a fridge clean out and kind of going through what we have. So normally I'll pull everything out all at once, but today I'm just going to make it a lot easier on myself and I'm just going to do like one section at a time. It's maybe not gonna be quite as satisfying as pulling everything out, cleaning everything all at once, but it is going to be a lot more manageable and just a lot less of a big job. So we're gonna continue on doing this, but now that I have this first shelf cleaned out, like I'll go ahead and like clean out all these spots. Oh, that lighting is so bright, you can't even tell. So I will get up close for you guys and show you what's really going on in here. Going back, 
back to your own life You're Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying heights So also as I'm going throughout cleaning out the fridge, like as I'm going to be organizing this section, I will pull anything that I see from the other sections. Like I know the yogurt does not go down here. Typically we'll have it up here if we have some. And that way I can just like kind of do multiple things at once and just make the best use of my time, so. So another thing that I'm doing as I'm pulling things out of the fridge and just kind of deep cleaning in there is I'm actually going to be consolidating a few of the items. Anytime that you go without organizing a space for a while, things kind of get crazy and especially in the fridge, I feel like it's so easy to get multiple open cartons of milk or multiple containers of cream cheese, just whatever the case is. Anytime that you can consolidate those into one container, it's going to take up a lot less space. So I'm just taking a few moments to kind of do that for a few of the items in the fridge. Also, as you'll see, I'm not pulling out any of the shelves. When I do like a full, full, super deep clean of the fridge, I will pull every shelf out, I'll pull all the glass pieces out, and I will really like scrub those down. This is just a reminder, you don't have to go so intense when you're cleaning sometimes. This ended up taking me probably 30 minutes or so, and it really wasn't a whole lot of effort, and it just made such a huge difference. Don't overwhelm yourself. If you need your fridge cleaned out, go ahead and just tackle it like this. Even if you only have time to do one shelf a day, anything is better than nothing, and it just doesn't have to be that intense and overwhelming. Really quick, I'm going to take this jug of juice and put it into a pitcher that we have that will actually fit in the fridge because whenever we get juice, it seems like it never fits. So you always have to like have it sitting on its side or something and it just takes up way more space. I have this really nice like mason jar one. It's super sturdy and it has a pour spout. Pour this into there and kind of make it fit. Let me know in the comments if you have more condiments than us or less. I can just count right here. We have like nine or 10 condiments just in this one section. And as silly as it is, I feel like I actually have been being very aware of how many condiments we've been having. And I've been trying to keep them a little bit more minimal. If you guys have seen some of my other fridge cleanup videos, you guys know our family has a crazy condiment issue. It's like we always have so many different condiments and it just ends up taking up so much space in the fridge. But let me know if you guys have a ton of condiments or if you're just super minimal and you you only have like a handful. I don't know how to get away from not having a ton of condiments. It's just something we never can seem to get away from. We 
So even though I'm not pulling out all the shelving in the fridge, I am pulling out like the small containers just because they do get pretty messy and I figured this is going to be a lot easier to just pull these out and get them actually a good wash in the sink versus having to wipe them down with a rag. It was just a lot better use of my time being able to pull them out easily and wash them in the sink and then pop them back in. Okay, so we have the fridge all cleaned out. It is looking glorious. I love it so much. It's been a while since it's looked kind of put together. I will show you guys, there's quite a lot that either we are not going to eat or mostly things that have been expired. As you know, like we had to leave pretty quickly in April, I guess, and we really haven't cleaned out anything since then. So a lot of things have expired or there are things that we didn't buy, but people that stayed at the spot, things like that. So anyway, we have a lot of things Things that are not going to be returning to our fridge and then I did leave out basically all of the produce that I'm either going to prep or possibly cook with to create like some prepped meals anyway I'm gonna kind of go through this and see what we have and then see what my game plan can be for what I'm going to actually prep out today So I think my game plan is to make some mason jar salads. I'm sure you guys have seen those before, but basically you just stack everything up in a mason jar and then you can dump it into a bowl. That's gonna be perfect for just like on the go lunches. Like you can eat them to go or you can eat them at home, but they're just way easy. So I'm going to prep out some rice. Rice goes with everything. Also, when you have it already made in the fridge, there's just a lot of things that you can do with rice throughout the week. So that'll be perfect. And I do have some chicken in the fridge already. So my favorite way to eat chicken is grilled and I'll show you my favorite way to make it. It's the way my grandma used to make it whenever we were growing up. It's so good and it refrigerates really well and it reheats really well. So I think I'm gonna get like a big pack of chicken because I do have a little bit, but I'm just gonna get a larger pack and then grill up a bunch of that. We can use that even for dinners, but definitely for lunches, it's perfect to cut up and go on salads or you can, it's just like a really good meal starter kind of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I have a lot of things for salads. I have a lot of things for like roasted veggies. So I'm also going to roast up some veggies. I do need to get a few things like sweet potatoes, Get some more red peppers because we used up all those and I also wanted to get like some green beans fresh green beans and the roasted veggies is so delicious I'm also going to prep out some ranch I typically do this every week because I don't personally do a lot of dairy and so I like to make like a dairy free ranch and so I'll share how I make that with you guys I'm gonna make some fruit salad prep out the rest of like our fruits and veggies just so they're ready to go it's going to make a huge huge difference in just how simple our days go in the summer and I'm hoping to keep this up it's always like crazier when we have all the kids home but it's just going to be a lot more beneficial to do a little bit extra work right now and then have the days go smoother so let's head out to the grocery store I just got back from the store. I didn't pick up a whole lot, but I'll turn you guys around and do like a super quick grocery haul and show you the different things that I got. A few things were just kind of not for meal prep, but most of it is for prepping things out today. So I went ahead and got some lunch meat or like roll-ups or sandwiches for the kids. Then I got some garlic hummus to dip like the different veggies that we have. I also picked up some yogurt. This is especially Liam's favorite, but honestly like all the kids love this. Then I also got some red peppers. I was only going to get three, but they were on a really good deal. So I ended up getting four. I also got some cherry tomatoes. These are for those mason jar salads. Then I also got some jam. I feel 
feel like we don't even use jam that much other than I guess in like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches but we are all out so I picked up some of that I got some real mayo for the salad dressing or the ranch that I'll make I also picked this up this was random but Kyle loves Thousand Island so I figured I would get some for him I also got some Guatemala olives these are going to be for the salads I picked up two of these I don't think I'll use two but these are really good just to have on hand and this is going to be for grilling the chicken out on the barbecue and I also got some broccoli for the roasted veggies along with some potatoes for the roasted veggies sweet potatoes snow peas and green beans all for the roasted veggies and up here I got some chicken breast and then I also picked up some eggs we always go through eggs whether it's for breakfast or we hard boil them and then I also got some oranges these are for snacking and also I'm gonna make like some fruit salad with this and then I got some grapes I do have some green grapes but these were on sale like 88 cents anytime they go under a dollar I will always stock up and I've shared this in past videos but every summer or anytime like it's warm out we will grab grapes you want to take them off the stem wash them off and then you pop them into the freezer and they're like little bitty popsicles they're so so delicious super easy and they're like a healthy treat for the kids and honestly they're good for us adults as well but now let's go ahead and jump into prepping first thing we are going to start out with is the rice just because it'll take a little while it's one of those things like set it and forget it so I can literally set it there get it working like I don't have to babysit it or anything so funny story I got my rice cooker for Christmas several years ago because I told Kyle I wanted a steamer and this comes with a steamer basket and he went ahead and <laughs> got me a rice cooker thinking that it was like I mean it was like a steamer and rice cooker in one but I didn't want a rice cooker because I thought why do you need a rice cooker and I can only serve one purpose and ever since getting it years and years and years ago I use it constantly and we also steam veggies in it it does work so so well I know you can use other things for it but like for cooking rice but it cooks rice so incredibly well I will link the one that we have but we've had it for years love it so I'm gonna make like a decent amount I'll probably make three cups because like we'll go through it throughout the week, especially with the kids being home during the day. And it is pretty quick and easy to make, like if we do need more later. Mm -mm, I don't. going to put a few of the groceries away that we picked up things that we're not going to be using in today's prep and then I think we're gonna work on the chicken Okay, so for the chicken, I'm just going to start by kind of cleaning it up and then I'm actually going to marinate it just because I do have other things to keep me busy for a while. You don't have to marinate it. You can just like put the marinade over top when you're cooking it, but marinating it always tastes so much better. Like it's so much more juicy. So like I said, since I do have a little extra time in like making everything else, I am going to marinate it even though it won't be like overnight or anything. It'll just be for like maybe 30 minutes or an hour. So now I have it all prepped out. I also saved just a little bit, maybe that much, to go ahead and like when I'm actually grilling it, I can 
squirt a little bit of that on top of the chicken and it just like helps kind of keep that moisture in there. But now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until I'm ready to cook it. Next, we're going to start working on our frozen grapes and I am going to be using this colander. I got this from Ikea and I get questions about it all the time. So if you're looking for one, that's where I got it from. I'm sure you can find other ones like it, but I like it because it's so big and it's actually able to kind of like sit over the lips of your sink and it's just really nice and convenient. So all I'm gonna start off by doing is popping all the grapes off of the stem. And then once I get that done, then I'll go ahead and just rinse them all off. And then I'm going to lay them out on a towel and get them all dry. You really wanna make sure that they're dry before popping them in the freezer. Otherwise, they'll have a lot of water on them and they'll end up like freezing kind of together in bunches. So the drier you can have them before popping them in the freezer, the better. Now we have our grapes drying, our rice cooking, our chicken marinating, and we are going to preheat the oven to 425. And then we're gonna go ahead and start prepping up all of our veggies to pop into the oven for that sheet pan, kind of like a sheet pan dinner, but basically we're just roasting a bunch of veggies with some olive oil and seasonings, and it's going to be delicious. You can totally use whatever veggies you have. That's like the beauty of sheet pan dinners or like roasting veggies. It doesn't have to be just like a certain mix. But today we have red peppers, sweet potato, onion, russet potatoes, green bell pepper, also some broccoli, green beans, carrots, and snow peas. So I used to love watching Food Network when I was younger or I would watch Rachel Ray a lot on there. And one thing she did that I still feel like is just so genius and I typically like to do this when I'm cooking a lot. And that is when you're cooking to grab like a mixing bowl and use that as your garbage bowl. That way you're not having to like constantly go to and from the trash. You can just toss any of your scraps into a garbage bowl and then it just makes cleanup a lot easier. I had to laugh at my little comment about always watching the Food Network show because I actually used to tell my mom like, oh, that would be such a dream to be on Food Network one day and like have my own show. But I always have loved cooking and so I've just loved like watching those shows and that was always something that I thought would be so cool. Let me know if you had like some crazy thing that you wanted to be when you were growing up. So realistically, I actually wanted to be a flight attendant forever but Kyle and I ended up meeting early on and so I didn't really pursue that. But like my more far-fetched goal for a career would be like a Food Network chef. I think that would be so cool. So for the roasted veggies, I'm just washing them up and then chopping them into bite-sized pieces. The biggest tip that I have for this is to make sure that you're chopping all of your produce into uniform pieces. That way everything will cook evenly in the oven and you don't have some things that are taking way too long to cook and some things that cook right away and end up burning. But I love doing this. I've shared some sheet pan dinners in the past. One of my favorite ones, if you're wanting it to be more of like a full meal, is to add in some sliced sausage. It's so delicious, and I feel like it also flavors the veggies really well. 
but this is perfect because you can use up whatever veggies you have on hand or you can always go grab a couple veggies at the store but it comes together really, really quickly. Of course, it reheats really well, so it's perfect for food prep. And you can totally customize it by how you season it, by what veggies you add in. You can even add like sauces to it once you're all done ready to serve it. There are just so many different options for this and it's so, so delicious. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. Okay, so this is where you can get really creative as well and you can add whatever kind of seasonings you want. I like to keep it pretty simple. So typically I will just do like olive oil or avocado oil and then salt and pepper. And then I also love adding in Montreal steak. This stuff is so good. It has like peppers and garlic and onion. It's so, so good. You do have to be a little careful because it can get a tad spicy if you add too much. So I kind of like to go a little bit light on that but get that flavor in there. And then you can also like season it up whenever you're eating it, like the day of when you're warming it up or whatever. You can always add like any additional seasoning. So that's all we're gonna do now. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes and kind of check. Really you just have to make sure like the potatoes, sweet potatoes and carrots are all cooked. Once those are fork tender, everything else is gonna be done too. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. All right, next up is our mason jar salad. So I'm just going to go ahead, start prepping out our lettuce chopping up like some of the veggies that I'm gonna pop in there. And then I have some mason jars. I mean, actually we have a lot of mason jars. We just use mason jars like as our cups, like our drinking cups, but I mean like the big ones. But I also like to save like whenever we get store-bought pasta sauce, I will just save the jars because they're really good. Like if you're giving soup to a neighbor or a friend or something, and then they don't have to like send it back to you because it was free. But I'm also going to just use a lot of these for our mason jar salads. I think I'm gonna try to make like big salads because we typically will have like a big salad and even if we're just doing it as a side salad, like share a couple of them as a family. So I'm gonna see what I have, see how many I have, and then I will start prepping that all out. Okay, I'm gonna start out by prepping out all of the lettuce. That way I can let that lay out for a few minutes and let like all of the extra moisture soak off of that. Just because I don't wanna lock in a bunch of moisture into little airtight jars. And then once I do that, I'll let that sit and we'll start actually just building the salads inside of the mason jars. I'm gonna have cucumbers, peppers, things like that, tomatoes. And I'll be putting all of those right at the bottom and then I'll just set the lettuce up at the top so it can kind of breathe a little bit more. I typically will just make like a big, big salad each week and my mom does this, so that's why I started doing it where she won't just do like just lettuce, but she'll add in like green onion and bell pepper and carrots and like all that good stuff. And I'll just put it in like a big bowl like this, but I'm gonna try out the mason jars and just see like how they work, if they're any better, if they're more convenient or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time. 
So for the mason jar salads, there's again, like not really a whole lot of rules to this one. It's like a very open-ended recipe, if you will. You are just going to pick whatever your favorite lettuce is, and then also pick whatever your favorite raw veggies are that you like to eat on salads. So I am adding in like some bell pepper. I'm also adding in some cucumber, tomatoes, carrots, and normally I love to add in green onion, but you can really add in whatever you like. And then all you're going to do is make sure to add in your raw veggies on the bottom. And you can also add in like any toppings that you might want, like some berries or nuts or whatever you like to top your salads with. You will add that in at the bottom as well. And then once you get all that added in, you're going to top it off with your lettuce. Now, if you're planning to eat these at home, I actually wouldn't recommend putting any dressing in because it's so easy just to dump it out into a bowl and go ahead and enjoy it that way. And then you can top it with whatever dressing you have at home. But if you are planning to take these on the go and eat them out, like if you take them to work with you or something, I would go ahead and add your dressing in. But the trick to that is that you want to add your dressing first, like before you even add all of your raw veggies because that way it won't wilt any of the greens or anything. It just kind of stays with those harder veggies. And then once you have everything added in, just put the top back on and pop it in the fridge and those will stay fresh for about a week. I've actually really loved having the individual mason jar salads versus like a big bowl just because it already is like perfectly portioned out. I have all of the things that I want in there and it's perfect because I've had at least one salad a day. I've had them for snacks. I've had them for meals. You can top it with chicken or you can just have it as a side. It's just so, so easy and simple and I love how grab and go it is. Finally, we are going to head out to the barbecue. I was like hoping it would be a little later so that the sun wasn't beating down because it's like over 100 degrees today. And it actually doesn't bother me too much, but like standing in front of a grill for a while, it gets hot. So I have it all marinating. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out and pop it up on the grill. All right, so I have the grill all heated up. I'm going to turn it to like medium low, I guess. I'm gonna probably cook this like 30 and 35 minutes typically, but now that we have this all marinating, I'm going to slowly start putting them on the grill and then I'll leave the lid closed, but I'll just kind of back and like check on it, season it, flip it a few times. I'll kind of take you guys through the process. The chicken is cooking. I'm just gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes before I run out and check on it. And in the meantime, I'm going to get those grapes frozen and start prepping out like some of our produce. I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer. Whenever you're ready, you can just like grab however many you want. You can actually even use them like as ice packs almost in lunches or snack bags whenever you leave the house during the summer. They are just super versatile. They're so, so yummy and they're like a treat, but it's a grape. So it's not like a sugary treat with like a bunch of extra added sugar. So here I'm just prepping some grab-and-go veggies. 
So today I'm just doing some carrots and celery. I love having our produce prepped like this because if we don't have it prepped, it's like not a whole lot of work, but when you're hungry or when you're busy throughout the day, it isn't really inviting to go in the kitchen and prep out a snack like this. But if the work is already done for you, it's like you have no reason not to go in the fridge and grab something healthy versus grabbing like a handful of chips or something. It's just so much more beneficial to do a little bit of work ahead of time for a lot of benefit throughout the week. If you're like me and like to prep your veggies for snacking ahead of time, let me know in the comments what are your favorite veggies to snack on and what are your favorite veggies to have prepped. All right, I have to take a quick pause. We're gonna hop out and check on the chicken and then we'll continue on with the veggies. I'm happy I saved some of this Italian dressing because I'm actually going to again like drizzle it on the side that I just flipped and then I'm going to season that side and then I'm really just going to kind of leave it. I might flip it one more time. I won't take it off until it's all like completely cooked through and it'll stay super super juicy and it's just like so flavorful. It's so good. The last thing that we have to do, well, there's two things. I want to make like a fruit salad. Also, I want to prep out my ranch. I typically would do this like once a week. And then really all we have left is just like finishing up the chicken, of course, and putting everything away, like putting the roasted veggies away, putting that rice away. I bet you guys forgot we made rice. <laughs> that was like forever ago, but that's really like all we have left. So I'm gonna grab all the things that I need for the ranch. And we'll make that. So I shared this ranch recipe back in 2019. So like several years ago over on Instagram. So it is always still in my Instagram feed, but it's like pretty buried. So I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys, but there's like only a few ingredients for this. So it's super, super easy to pull together. So you're going to start out by adding in one cup of mayonnaise. And I like mason jars because they have the measurements on the side. Then next you're going to add in one tablespoon of parsley, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of dill. Next you're going to add in some apple cider vinegar. And you're going to do about two teaspoons. This is going to help kind of like make it be like buttermilk. Then you're going to add in non-dairy milk. You can add between like four to six tablespoons. I usually do five, but it's really is just going to depend like how thick you want it. So I typically will do like five. And then the last thing is just to add in some salt and pepper. I just like to shake it up in the mason jar but then I have these little containers from Ikea and it fits like perfectly in here. So I will just store them in here. So for this fruit salad, there literally is like not really even much of a point to sharing like a recipe card on this one because it is so easy and super versatile. All you're gonna do is chop up a bunch of fruits and put it into a bowl and mix it together. But my one big tip on this is actually to make sure that you have orange or some type of citrus in there because the juice from that orange is actually going to act as a sauce and make it really, really juicy and flavorful versus just having like a bunch of fruit in a bowl. And another tip for prepping your citrus is to make sure you're kind off the pith of the orange which is that little white part between the flesh of the orange and the peel and the reason for that is because it's going to really help release all those juices and just help the orange juices kind of flow throughout all the fruit 
I wish you guys could smell this out here. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna check and see if they are done cooking, which I'm suspecting. Ah, oh, they landed on me. I'm suspecting they are done cooking, but I have a knife to cut into them and make sure that they are totally cooked through. All right, this is a super quick tip on how to cut apples where you don't have a bunch of pieces. All you're gonna do is just cut the sides off basically versus cutting it like in fours and having to core each side. This is something I started doing years and years ago when I was like an early mom and it's just been amazing because then you don't have as much trash. You just have one core to throw out. We are finally done. Oh, it feels so good. All this is gonna be so good to eat on throughout the week. The only thing left is to start putting things away. So I'm just gonna grab my Tupperware and start getting things set up in the fridge. Having all of this prepped out has been so beneficial. I'm like fairly good at doing this after a big grocery shop during the school year, but whenever it comes to summers, a lot of times I just end up kind of falling off the bandwagon on this one, but I really am going to try to make this summer a bit more structured and just make sure that everything kind of flows a bit nicer than the chaos that it usually is. And I feel like this is going to play a big role in that. So I'm definitely going to work towards continuing on with the food prep during the summer, even though the kids are gonna be home and like the house is a little bit more chaotic and busy. But let me know if you'd be interested in seeing little tidbits about that over on Facebook and Instagram. I definitely won't be making videos like this every single week just because I wanna share other videos with you guys, but I could definitely share little tidbits over on social media if you're interested. So that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching today and hanging out with me and I hope it gave you lots of motivation and some new recipe ideas and inspiration on keeping your fridge stocked with some food prep. Like I've mentioned recently, we have a lot of big things coming up and we're actually in the thick of prepping for a big makeover series right now. We are heading over to my sister's house who lives here in the Phoenix area in the next couple weeks and we are going to be making over so many rooms in our house. I think we're planning to do five different spaces and it's going to just be such a transformation so i can't wait to share that with you guys we also have a ton of other content coming out so definitely make sure that you are subscribed and make sure you have that bell notification on so that you're the first ones to get notified as always thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for hanging out with me and i cannot wait to see you in the next one bye guys